Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of adapting, actually, because we've only been doing, uh, well, even with Kiss, I think we did 40 minutes. So yeah. now it's it's almost double. Over the last week or so, we've been kind of sound checking, you know, song here, song there, whatever that we haven't played in a while. So I think we're, we're pretty much ready. I'm going to freak out. I'll forget all the songs. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, I have, I'm going to have to have a couple little, uh, pieces of paper on the floor just in case I forget the lyrics, look down, you know, but. I have a little cardboard keyboard that in my room and I just kind of play on that, tap, tap, tap. You know what, it's, it's, it's fine because honestly, even in the bigger places, I really don't have any clue how many people are there because you don't see them. You only see about eight or ten rows of people so this will be it's, it's you know yeah. op, a little tighter you I mean, know you, you, it's there's nothing to replace the energy of, of you know the more people the more energy you know and you feed off that adrenaline wise but when you play clubs like even with you know GNR you know we like to go do club tours sometimes just because those are your hardcore fans you know and, and you're really in touch with them and, and you can do different things that, you, that don't translate in an arena environment personally I think it's it's fun to go back and forth you know I like playing the clubs and the big shows too. Now it's my time. Yeah, we start January or February. We're, we've actually already started writing some new material. I think we're gonna start recording around sometime in February. So, um, yep, n new rec definitely a new record. So cool, I'm excited about it. We still actually have a few ideas left over from the last yeah. record. Yes, we do. So we're going to look at those and then everybody's been kind of... Uh, Dizzy and Brian were working on a song in the tour bus a couple days ago. You know, when we get home, we'll stockpile a bunch of ideas and then fine tune them. And the ones that we think are the best ones, we'll go in and record. This is a song from an empty heart Just letting you know I'm not... I think mentally we can't help from feeling a bit on edge. That's just that's just natural, you know. But I think it was really important for us to to come here and play the show. Um, yeah, you said it the other day. Like we need to we need to make a stand and just come to Paris and play and let everybody know. I mean, it was the same in America when we had the nine eleven thing. You know what I mean? It was everybody was upset about it and mourned and 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 everybody was a little edgy. But you know, we had to let everybody know that it's not going to affect our way of life, you That's know, right. and, and, and move forward, you know. And uh, the rock and roll never stops, man. That's that's how I look at it. That's one thing. Music's one of the, one of the few things that, that bring people together from everywhere. And uh, so I think it's super duper important for us to to play the show tonight. I personally believe that in any crisis, any argument, any disagreement, there's always some common ground that you can find in the middle and be civil to each other, you know what I mean, with anything. Um, and we, we actually wrote a song about it. It's, uh, we're going to play it tonight. You know, we, we have a song from the record, Revolution, it's called You and I. And it's just like, we've got to stop and find that middle ground and just discuss, you know what I mean? Um, we are getting closer together as, as, a, as a world, as, you know, as, as, as a human race. And that's got to be the ultimate goal. It has to be if, if we want to survive, if we want to continue on, if we want to persevere. The free world is the free world for a reason. Sing.